I'm Travis North, the Thermal Design Manager and Architect for Chatsworth Products, and I'm here today to give you a live demonstration of the cooling capability of our cabinet solution and our vertical exhaust duct. We're in our research and development thermal lab, and this lab is set up for a row of IT equipment with perimeter cooling approach. We have two 10-ton craws, which are supplying air to a two-foot raised floor plenum. You can see our products here. This is our TerraFrame cabinet solution with our vertical exhaust duct. Within this cabinet, we have four load banks. The load banks are each operating at eight kilowatts apiece, providing 32 kilowatts of IT simulated load. Along the intake of the load banks, we have three thermocouples. These three thermocouples from bottom, middle to top are measuring the temperature stratification along the intake of the IT equipment. Similarly, we have a secondary cabinet which is operating at the exact same conditions of 32 kilowatts. The airflow being provided by the craw is matched exactly to the IT consumption. The CFM supply is 3,350 CFM. This provides a 30 degree delta T across the intake of the equipment. Why you want to measure the temperature stratification along the intake is this is a prime indicator of airflow recirculation. Hot air coming from the back of the equipment around to the intake. This robs you of cooling capacity, which ultimately costs you, the customer, money. So you're looking at the data acquisition data from those thermocouples along the intake of the cabinet. You can see for cabinet one, which was the farthest cabinet, we are 76.6 degrees up to 78 degrees. So that is a degree and a half stratification. For cabinet two, we're 75.5 to 76.9, close to two degree stratification. For both two cabinets operating at 32 kilowatts, we have less than two degree stratification along the intake of the equipment. This means you have minimal recirculation occurring in your solution and in your cabinet. Okay. As we saw, we had less than two degree stratification along the intake of the equipment. The next key factor for you, the data center operator, is to understand airflow bypass. The amount of air that's coming from your cooling equipment around the IT equipment and back to your cooling coil. What this does is it robs you of cooling capacity. To understand that, you have to look at your chill water temperature. Now you can see that our chill water operating set point of our lab is 63 degrees. Most data centers operate at a 45 degree environment. This means that if you're operating above 60 degrees and you were previously operating at 45 degrees chill water set point, this means that you're 15 degree plus higher on your chill water temperature. What this means to you, the customer, is that for every degree you can increase your chill water set point, you're saving between one to three percent energy savings on your chiller plant. So worst case, you're 15% savings on your chiller plant, and it can be up to 45% savings on your chiller plant. We've just had a live demonstration of a TerraFrame cabinet solution that is supporting 32 kilowatts of IT load. Total CFM airflow through one cabinet was 3,350 CFM, and our chilled water set point was over 60 degrees Fahrenheit. What this means to you is that Chatsworth can provide you a very energy efficient cabinet containment solution that will scale with your increasing needs of your data center. At Chatsworth Products, we would be honored to help you with your solutions and your challenges, so please see us at www.chatsworth.com.